Hi everyone, this is Erica from Highland Hickory Designs, and today I'm going to show you how to crochet the April Shower Shawl. Now to save time, we're going to make this in miniature. Uh, so we're going to start out with 32 chains. You need a multiple of 10 plus 2. And when we're making this shawl, we make the longest part first, and then we decrease to the point. So let's get started. Okay, in your second chain from the hook, you're going to single crochet. And chain one. Now we're going to work triple crochets in the fifth chain. So we're going to skip four. One, two, three, four, and work into this fifth one. And a triple crochet is you yarn over two times, insert your hook into the stitch, yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two more, yarn over, pull through two loops. And then we're going to chain two. Now we're going to repeat the triple crochet in the same stitch four more times. So tri triple crochet, one, chain two, two, chain two, three, chain two, and the last one. And after the last one, we're going to chain one. So this looks like the spokes on a wheel. There will be five triple crochets all in the same stitch. And now we're going to skip four chains and in the fifth chain, just a sing single crochet. All right, now we're going to repeat what we just did and make another half a wheel right here. Chain one, yarn over twice, skip four chains in the fifth chain. We're going to start working our double or triple crochets. Chain two in between each one. Okay, we have one, two, three, four. We need to do one more. Chain two. Okay, and at the end, we chain one. Skip four more stitches and single crochet in the fifth chain. Chain one. We're going to repeat our half a wheel one more time. So skip four and in the fifth one. Triple crochet, chain two, Chain one at the end. Okay, we're going to skip four stitches, four chains, and single crochet in the last chain. And this is how your row one will look. So now we're going to begin the decrease. So chain one, turn your work. And we're going to single crochet up the side until we get to this middle spoke here of our wheel. So single crochet here in your chain one space, single crochet in the top of this triple crochet, two single crochets in the chain two space, single crochet in the top of this triple crochet, 
two single crochets in the chain two space and our last single crochet will go in this middle triple crochet so now for row two we chain three we're going to skip this chain two space and we're going to work a double crochet into this one chain two we're going to skip this chain one space, skip this chain one space, and work a double crochet into this chain two space. Chain three. We're going to skip this chain two space and work our single crochet right in the top of this spoke. And then we repeat chain three skip this space work a double crochet in this one chain two skip this one skip this one work a double crochet in this one chain three skip this space and work your single crochet in the top of this middle spoke And that is it for row two you're going to end with a single crochet in the top of this sp spoke you're not going to go the whole way to the end because we're decreasing this is upside down so we're going to start over again we're going to chain one turn your works Now you're going to single crochet in the top of this stitch that the chain one came out of and chain one. Now we're going to create another one of these half wheels. We're going to skip the chain three space here and work our wheel into what is going to be the raindrop. But it's upside down right now. So triple crochet in the chain two space right here, chain two. And repeat in the same space chain two all five will go in the same space okay five we only need one chain after that not two so we'll skip this space and we'll single crochet right in the top of this single crochet right here from the previous row. Okay. Chain one. We're going to do it again. We're going to skip the chain three space and work our, our half wheel into the chain two space right here. Triple crochet. Chain two. One, two, three, four, one more. And chain one. Okay, since we're decreasing, we have our row of single crochets here along the side that's going to make up our border. So we're going to skip this chain three space. And in this last single crochet right here, we'll work another single crochet. And in order to keep your border solid along this one side, we're going to slip stitch into this next stitch before we begin the next row. So chain one. Sorry, here's what it looks like. Chain one, turn your work. And now we're going to single crochet in this chain one space here. We're going to work our single crochets up the side again. Single crochet in the top of this triple crochet. 
two single crochets in this space, a single crochet on the top of this triple, two more in this space, and a single crochet in the middle spike of the wheel. All right, so we're going to begin the next row. Chain one, and we are going to, oh, I'm sorry, chain three. And we're going to skip this space and work a double crochet here. Chain two, skip this space in this one and work a double crochet in this space. Chain three, skip this space and single crochet in the top of the middle spike. And that's it for that row. Now don't forget this is upside down. We're going to flip it in order to have our shawl. So we're decreasing our wheels the whole way down. Chain one, turn your work, single crochet in the same stitch that the chain one comes out of, chain one, now we're going to work our half of a wheel in this chain two space here. Okay, how many do we have? One, two, three, four. One more. Chain one. Okay, then we're going to skip this space and work a single crochet into this last stitch right here. And slip stitch. Okay, so this is the entire swatch it over and show you. See we have our raindrop pattern. We started with the long part and it naturally decreases to the center. And now we have a solid solid row of single crochets along this edge. So now we're going to put the finishing border on and we're going to work single crochets evenly around here to the corner. In the corner space, we're going to single crochet, chain three, single crochet, and then single crochet evenly along the top until you get to the corner where you will single crochet, chain three, single crochet, and slip stitch into this last stitch. So chain one, turn your work. And now we will begin single crocheting oops, evenly skip that stitch and do the chain one space evenly around I don't single crochet in the stitches I'm wrapping it the whole way around unless it's the triple crochet stitch right there and then I go into it Try to make it as even as you can so that it doesn't start to wrinkle. It's not going to lay completely flat, but as long as you get it pretty close, it's good.
Okay, here we are at the corner. So we're going to single crochet, chain three, and in the same stitch, single crochet one more time. And that will give us a nice corner. And then we'll continue to single crochet along this edge. Now these are four chains, so I usually do four crochets in this space. And then one in the center. See how we're starting. We have the corner. Four more single crochets. three, four, and the last stitch for our corner, we'll single crochet, chain three, single crochet again, and then we'll slip stitch in this first single crochet. And there you have it. That is a miniature version of the April Shower Shawl. And really quickly, if you'd like to see how I made the fringe really fast, I'll show you. I took a book that was six inches wide, measured it, measure the width, six inches. And I place the end here. You want to use this part for your scissors. You wrap it around however many times. And then when you go to cut, you put your scissors in here. Cut it. And then you have equal lengths of fringe. <laughs> okay, and to attach the fringe, which is completely optional, you want to start at one of your uppermost corners, probably the chain three stitch, space would be great. Insert your hook, take your three strands and pull them through the space, but not completely. Leave them still on the hook, just in a loop. And what I like to do to make them kind of even is I will match them all up at the ends. And Pull tight. There you go. Fringe. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, please like and subscribe for more videos. And thank you for stopping by.